Pluto had it coming from the beginning it was like it was never really belong. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet, that's no kind of behavior for a planet. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, was reclassified as a dwarf planet partly due to its peculiar orbit, which deviates significantly from the typical paths of the major planets. Despite its diminished status, Pluto remains a subject of fascination and study in the astronomical community. Recent predictions by leading scientists have highlighted the potential danger posed by Pluto's trajectory, which brings it dangerously close to Neptune's orbit. This warning, sounded by astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, suggests a plausible scenario wherein Pluto and Neptune could collide, presenting a substantial threat to Earth and other celestial bodies in our solar system. Pluto's orbit around the Sun is characterized by its unique properties. Unlike the relatively circular orbits of the major planets, Pluto's path is highly elliptical, meaning it varies significantly in distance from the Sun throughout its orbit. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is inclined at an angle of 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, further distinguishing it from the orbits of other planets. Despite the intersecting paths of Pluto and Neptune, a collision has not occurred thus far. This is due to the gravitational influences exerted by other planets in the solar system, which help to stabilize Pluto's orbit and prevent catastrophic collisions. The study of Pluto's orbit has revealed various intriguing phenomena, including azimuthal libration, latitude libration, and the VZK oscillation. Azimuthal libration refers to the spatial separation between Pluto and Neptune when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, ensuring a minimum distance between the two bodies. Latitude libration involves the vertical movement of Pluto relative to the orbital plane of Neptune, providing an additional layer of protection against collisions. The VZK oscillation, named after the scientists von Zeipel, Lev, and Koff, describes the gravitational interactions between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, influencing their respective orbits. While Pluto's orbit exhibits stability over short timescales, numerical simulations have revealed its chaotic nature over millions of years. Minor deviations in initial conditions can lead to significant differences in Pluto's orbit, highlighting the challenges of predicting long-term celestial dynamics. In conclusion, the study of Pluto's orbit offers valuable insights into the complexities of space mechanics and the interactions between celestial bodies in our solar system. By understanding these dynamics, astronomers can better comprehend the past, present, and future of Pluto as well as other distant worlds and stars. The unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping chaos at bay. Recent computer simulations have shed light on how the gravitational influences of the gas giants like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn play a crucial role in shaping Pluto's trajectory around the Sun particularly, Neptune's gravitational pull establishes a special resonance with Pluto, ensuring a stable path. Jupiter's gravity also significantly contributes to maintaining Pluto's orbit, with Saturn providing additional support. Together, these giants work in concert to safeguard Pluto's journey through space, preventing potential collisions or deviations from its orbit. Understanding these phenomena is vital for maintaining the order and predictability of celestial movements within the universe. Without the gravitational mechanisms exerted by the gas giants, the solar system would be far more chaotic and unpredictable. Bodies like Pluto could collide with other celestial objects or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a ripple effect across the entire solar system. The case of Pluto highlights the importance of comprehending the dynamic nature of the solar system. Despite initial uncertainties and discussions about its stability, continuous observation and study have revealed how Pluto achieves equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. This underscores the necessity of ongoing research to deepen our understanding of our place in the universe. Pluto's orbit serves as a prime example of the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, showcasing the concept of orbital chaos where even slight variations in initial conditions can lead to vastly different long-term outcomes. Computer simulations have been instrumental in deciphering Pluto's movements, showcasing how minor adjustments can significantly alter its trajectory over millions of years. Despite the apparent chaos, Pluto's orbit maintains remarkable stability over billions of years, demonstrating an underlying order amid apparent disorder. Predicting cosmic events, particularly those involving chaotic orbits like Pluto, presents significant challenges due to the inherent unpredictability of these systems. Numerical simulations offer valuable insights into the future paths of celestial bodies but also highlight the limitations of our predictive capabilities as they rely on accurate initial conditions and complex interactions. Moreover, Pluto's chaotic orbit underscores the ever-evolving and dynamic nature of the universe, reminding us of the limitations of our current understanding. 
While significant progress has been made in unraveling the mysteries of space, the case of Pluto serves as a humbling reminder of how much we have yet to discover. Neil deGrasse Tyson's perspective on Pluto's journey encapsulates the ongoing evolution of our understanding of the solar system. His contributions, both in scientific research and public engagement, offer valuable insights into the complexities of celestial mechanics and humanity's enduring fascination with the cosmos. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's reclassification reflects a broader understanding of our solar system's complexity and evolution. He views the reclassification not as a demotion but as a necessary adjustment to our expanding knowledge of the celestial bodies orbiting our sun Tyson advocates for a continuous process of learning and adaptation in our understanding of celestial mechanics, recognizing that phenomena like Pluto's orbit serve as reminders of the vast uncharted territories of space. He believes that the intrigue of these unknowns is what makes astronomy so captivating. Furthermore, Tyson understands the significance of space events and discoveries in engaging public interest in astronomy. He sees events like Pluto's reclassification and its orbit's peculiarities as opportunities to spark the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes counterintuitive nature of space mechanics, Tyson aims to foster a deeper appreciation for the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos among the general public. In addition to his role as a science communicator, Tyson, along with other scientists, has raised concerns about the potential danger posed by Pluto's erratic orbit. After years of study, Tyson warns that the three-body problem involving Pluto and its potential collision with Neptune is a legitimate concern. He emphasizes that such a collision could disrupt the delicate balance of the universe and have catastrophic consequences, potentially affecting Earth and other celestial bodies. Michio Kaku, renowned for his work in theoretical physics and string theory, offers a unique perspective on the debate surrounding Pluto's orbit. He sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as instrumental in shaping the future of space exploration. Kaku believes that understanding the gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto can provide valuable insights for future space missions, aiding in navigation, hazard prediction, and planning missions to the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond. Kaku often discusses the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics, emphasizing that phenomena like the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune are not isolated events but are deeply connected to the fundamental principles of physics. His work in string theory seeks to elucidate these principles at the most fundamental level, suggesting that studying celestial mechanics can offer insights into the underlying laws of the universe. In conclusion, both Tyson and Kaku bring valuable perspectives to the discussion surrounding Pluto's orbit and its implications for our understanding of the universe. Their insights highlight the interdisciplinary nature of astrophysics and underscore the importance of continuous exploration and study in unraveling the mysteries of space. The potential collision between Pluto and Neptune offers more than just a spectacular celestial event, it presents a unique opportunity to test the predictions of string theory, particularly those related to gravity and spacetime. The gravitational waves produced by such a collision could carry signatures or anomalies that either align with or challenge the predictions of string theory. While the direct impact on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific implications of such an event could be profound. They could contribute significantly to our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a remarkable example of celestial mechanics in action, showcasing both stability and chaos within our solar system. Its unique characteristics, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, particularly Neptune, highlight the intricate and dynamic nature of space. Pluto and Neptune's potential collision is just one example of the many mysteries that still await our exploration in the universe. Other potential catastrophes, such as planet collisions in space, are predicted to occur, albeit extremely rarely. The dynamics of planetary orbits can be influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions described by the three-body problem. In systems like the TRAPPIST-1 system, where multiple planets orbit closely together, gravitational interactions can create orbital resonances, potentially leading to destabilization over time. While collisions are not occurring in these systems currently, scientists closely monitor them to gain insights into how planets affect each other's orbits. Rogue planets drifting through space without a star add another layer of unpredictability. These planets, ejected from their original star systems due to gravitational disturbances or other celestial events, can travel vast distances and potentially collide with other star systems. However, the sheer scale of interstellar distances and the relative rarity of rogue planets make such collisions unlikely. 
galactic mergers can also disrupt the orbits of stars and planets within merging galaxies, leading to violent ejections or collisions. While direct planet-planet collisions during these events are improbable, the gravitational disruptions can have significant effects on celestial bodies within the affected galaxies. In our own solar system, theories about the late heavy bombardment suggest that gravitational disturbances from the outer planets led to a period of increased comet and asteroid collisions approximately 4 billion years ago. This phenomenon, not involving planet-planet collisions, illustrates how gravitational interactions can shape celestial bodies' trajectories and impact the geological history of planets like Earth. Overall, the study of celestial mechanics and the potential consequences of cosmic events like planet collisions offer valuable insights into the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe.